Christmas is over, and the New Year is about to begin. You know what time for the final review? So, uh, what are we gonna review? Um, how about Die Hard? Die Hard, released July 15th, 1988, and it stars Bruce Willis playing John McClane, who is killing terrorists who have his wife's hostages while he has a few one-liners, kills him with a whole bunch of fucking explosion, and with awesomeness while barefoot. Let's review Die Hard. So I can review you Christmas movies, since this is a Christmas movie, even if you say it's not. Wait a goddamn minute! Oh, yay, it's you. Yes, I am back for the final review. Alright, you are not taking this review. This is my review. I will fight you over it. I will fucking kill you. Wait a minute, you know what? Let's compromise. How we both review it. Alright, fine. Start the review. So our movie begins with. How come you get to introduce the movie? I want to introduce the movie because it's my review. I want to introduce the movie. Fuck you! I'm introducing the goddamn movie. Alright, all right, fine. Dick. So our movie begins with the Fox logo, and there's a plane which John McClane is on, and he gets some advice to make a fist with his toes. Turns out John is a cop. Having a big old teddy bear, with the title coming up, going to a fancy place, wishing them Merry Christmas. Is this a Christmas movie? Then why the hell are you reviewing it? Because it's Die Hard? Oh yeah, makes sense. John's wife is in the place talking to her kids, and John is going through the airport, getting picked up by a limo driver, and them chatting about his life, listening to some Christmas music. Even though the movie was released, in July. Just like every Christmas movie is, this and Gremlins. Why are you viewing it as a Christmas movie? Again, because it's Die Hard and the big part of the plot. Plus, I have Christmas blues. Then he uses some tech to get in, and he goes up the elevator to the party, finally getting very fancy drunk people he meets. He meets this guy, and he gets to see his wife. He is going to stay with his wife. So they start arguing, so she goes as the terrorists begin to come in and kill. Oh yeah, time for the action to begin. So they begin to take their takeover, with blowing shit up and locking everyone up, so John can finally try fisting his toes. Oh damn, this does feel good. Oh god damn it, did you take your socks off? Get some fucking air freshener now! Alright, fine, but I better not miss anything good. So they use their chainsaw to cut the power lines. As Johnny was using the phone, so they can take some hostages. I just he hears gunshots. So he goes up the stairs barefoot with his handgun, and as he has them hostage and takes them, so they go up the elevator as John watches. Alright, I'm back. Aw, oh, crap, I missed them getting captured. Damn it. Oh, well, I'm you now. So he tells him what he wants, so... He has to answer a few questions about his vault. So John gets ready, so he is too late. Him getting shot in the head. We do it the hard way. So John pulls the fire alarm as the cops come, but not for him. So a guy with a machine gun comes, but in, but John goes to take him down. Takes a little bit of fighting, but he does take him down, having a radio and then getting some stuff and takes his shoes. He really doesn't want to be stepping around barefoot. He, he's gonna slip with some glass later. So he then uses the elevator and makes it go down. But the body has the Santa Claus hat and a few words. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, and now I have a machine gun. I'm taking over this review. Well, guess what? So do I, bitch! Huh, I guess it cancels out then. Huh. Guess so. So John is in the ventilation system, writing down their names, so he goes up the elevator and looks at the city using the radio. He says it's only for emergency. It's 
shit, lady, do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, now the action truly begins. So they start juice shooting at John, them barely missing him, and this cop's getting food for his pregnant wife, so he goes to check it out. As he's getting fucking shot at, but nearly avoiding getting shot and dying, by going through the fan and the vent. In a vent barefoot isn't fun. I should know. I've done it hundreds of times. So as he climbs down his machine gun, they try to neutralize him, but he gets in, losing his gun, joking in the vent. Come on to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. So, then because of his joke, he's shot at, and now he's in a tank top is very black. Damn, he is dirty. But the big thing is, he, he's still barefoot. The cops are finally here, so he starts breaking the glass as people come. You know what, I'm just going to take the liberty and just show you all the awesomeness just right now. Just, just show it. Next time you have a chance to kill someone, don't hesitate. Oh, so awesome. Thanks for the advice. So he then throws the body in the car and gets shot at. Yeah, that'll definitely get their attention. So now they know about the terrorists, so then John calls Hans and finds him C4 so he can say his catchphrase. Hey, motherfucker. Fucking awesome! I don't even have to say anything about this. I mean, for once, it's actually a good thing that I don't have to say anything about it, because it's so awesome! So they find about about the missing people, so John picks up, so he tells him everything as he smokes and tells him his name is Roy for now. As this dick guy gets here and so does the news, so then his wife tells him there's a pregnant woman there and she's smart, telling him her mating name. Yeah, that is pretty smart. Yeah, the only problem is the photos there, which will fuck her over later. So then after this, the other cops are fucking dumbasses as John is chilling and the cops are getting ready and gonna kick in to kick some ass. No, they're shooting at lights and still going in, but they're being killed in there and they blow shit up so John gets an axe and grabs the C4. Then TV and throws it down for this. Motherfucker. God damn, John, that was a big ass explosion. Yeah, it's not very safe. Shit. Yeah, uh, no, that definitely wasn't safe. So then John is yelled at by an asshole, with John being a smart ass. They tell him to hang in, so the guy tries to make an agreement, telling him they can he can give them John. They know that his name is John now, and he knows who screwed him over, so now he's kind of screwed and they kill him. Dumbass! Dumbass! They're arguing down there, so Hans talks to them, lies about the others being freed. So they are almost done telling him that he cannot do anything, so the FBI comes both Agent Johnson. No, that's actually really what they said, except it wasn't made for a joke, I don't think. No relation. Yep, that joke was pretty much just set up for us. For us? I only allowed you to join in the review so you don't try to take it over. This is still my review. We'll see who this review it is. So then he goes and finally meets John, him doing a different voice, being pretty convincing and giving him a cigarette, and then smoking together. Him telling him he's a cop, and him figuring out, you know, that's a fake name. Even John knows this is bullshit. Yeah, John is a pretty smart guy. No, he isn't. Why? Look at what he just did. Hey, he's still smart. He has a plan, I think. But he is Han, so he's gonna shoot him, but 
No bullets in the magazine. I told you it wasn't stupid. So now there's a gunfight where John's getting shot at, killing some assholes, them shooting the glass because barefoot, but he gets the exit, his feet hurting like a bitch, probably, with him still alive. Yep, John's a badass, because that hurts like a bitch. I should know, I've stepped on a lot of glass in my years. So the cops explains that he shot a kid by accident. I care. Hey, it's important, alright? They shut down the power, helping the terrorist out, and John asks him to tell his wife that he's been a jerk and that he's sorry, so that he can check on his last few bombs, but this asshole. That'd be fine. But you won't. The hell? Yeah, I'm finally taking over this review. It's my review now. So now, this is personal. So they beat the shit out of each other. And he figures out that she's John's wife. With Well, John is losing, but he's almost shot, but he finally hangs him. Yeah, he's dead. Just like you're about to be. Now I got my machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. You won't shoot me. Hasta la vista, baby. Alright, back to the review. So now the cops are in the helicopter, and they go up to the building for the hostages, so John goes up with them as the cops shoot at him, and he goes down the building as it blows the fuck up. Yeah, awesome, die fucking hard. So he gets inside the building, barely being pulled down, but he's fine with the FBI being blown the fuck up, and his limo driver ramming into the sky. Yeah, he's finally back in the movie, even though I barely talked about him. So John is in a hostage situation with him, putting his gun down, and he quotes John. Said to me before, yippee ki -yay. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, not as cool as when John said it, but either way, that line's still awesome, whoever says it. So John laughs as he has the gun on his back. <laughs> Happy trails, Hans. And Hans falls. Alright, alright, so we're gonna drop you in three, alright? Three, two, Dropped you too soon, so we just wanted a real look of fear. Merry Christmas on your way down there, buddy! So John holds his wife and goes down to the chaos, being a hero and finally able to meet his friend, and as the cops yell at him, but this guy is alive. Wait a minute, how the fuck did you get down there? With a gun, and being covered in blood? There you go, I guess we finished that arc for you. Then the limo driver comes and they drive home, letting it snow. Just even though it isn't snowing, but they finally get to go home. That was Die Hard, and it's fucking awesome! Die Hard is just fucking awesome. There's some great characters, great acting, John fucking McClane. It's just fucking awesome. And he's action, just awesome. I'm gonna have to say, trouble saying this, some things about this, cause, you know, it's just awesome, it's just so awesome, so, I had to give Die Hard a 5 out of 5 for just being fucking awesome, cause it's fucking Die Hard! Alright, so the year's about to be over, so, happy- Wait a fucking minute, I'm back, baby! How in the fuck are you still alive? Um, I don't know, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna kill you now. Alright, I've had fucking enough of this. Alright, 
buddy. I already gave my Oscar La Vista, but I gotta kill you now. Alright guys, so... Happy New Year. Next year will be Season 3. We'll have a new intro and everything. And I'll see y'all there.